In a new report that just came out, a group of scientists say that the crust of our planet contains enough natural hydrogen to power our civilization for more than 100,000 years. Maybe hydrogen isn't a dream. Maybe it can actually work. Let's have a look. Hydrogen burns cleanly with oxygen to water while creating energy. That makes it sound like the ideal fuel. It's clean, efficient and, best of all, doesn't come with a dictator attached, which has made it appealing, especially in Europe. The problem is just that we currently produce hydrogen almost exclusively from natural gas and coal, and that releases carbon dioxide. One can produce hydrogen by splitting water with renewable energies like solar or wind. This has been called green hydrogen. In practice, however, the systems have proven too expensive, too inefficient and too small in scale. Stocks of hydrogen companies have been tanking for a while now and many companies have cancelled plans. The European Union didn't get the message. Just in February, they poured almost a billion euro of tax money into more hydrogen projects. It's true what they say, by the way. I pay about 50% tax. The one thing that really could change the game is white hydrogen. That's molecular hydrogen that's already in the ground, ready to use, but stuck in rocks. Unlike green hydrogen, which we need to produce with electricity, white hydrogen was formed by nature from energy sources that exist underground, such as geothermal heat stress or radioactivity. You may remember Remember the excitement around a big find of natural hydrogen in France in early 2023. Back then, a team of scientists reported wells under the Lorraine region that, they said, had gas with concentrations up to 20% in hydrogen rising from deep boreholes. Their preliminary figures sounded promising, but were very thinly documented. So many scientists treated the claims with cautious optimism but a lot of skepticism. Now, just in March, one of the researchers involved in the project, Jacques Pironneau from CNRS, told some journalists that they found a second reservoir in the Moselle region. At current energy values, the total hydrogen in both regions could be worth more than 90 billion US dollars. That's staggering and the reason why the headlines say that this could redefine clean energy or that France could become a leader in the global clean energy revolution. I've yet to see any good evidence that these numbers are even remotely realistic, but yes, it does sound pretty good. And then just a few weeks ago, this new paper appeared. Rather than focusing on one country or one rock type, the authors take a planetary perspective. They catalogue every known process that can generate hydrogen underground. That's iron-rich rocks reacting with water which frees hydrogen, or water split by radioactive decay, or the ground so hot that it splits fossils which creates hydrogen along with methane and some other things like carbon dioxide. Then they estimate how much each of these sources could contribute and create the first global map for natural hydrogen occurrences. According to that map, the largest countries, Russia, Canada, the USA and Australia, have the largest prospective hydrogen resources. Not so surprising, but that isn't the whole story. Mali is the one case where they already have hydrogen extraction from the ground, and in Oman, it's been reported before, but new is that the US West Coast and Cuba look promising. This is because the researchers say the ground there is old ocean floor that has been pushed up but has built up hydrogen and stored it in rocks for a long time. They also have some practical advice, which is to look for traces of helium that gases out of the ground, which is fairly easy to detect and often, they say, a good indicator that hydrogen might be to find deeper below. It remains to be seen how much of that hydrogen can actually be extracted, but many companies are rushing to find it, like the company High Terra in Kansas or the Denver-based startup Coloma that's backed by Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. In the UK, that's the company 
GTAC, which is drilling in Scotland. In Spain, there's Helios, and the Japanese government is investing into it too. I really want this to work. I like the purity of the idea. But I'm still very sceptical. And so I say, keep on dusting the solar panels. I've been saying this so much, we now have t-shirts with that tagline in our store. Because let's be realistic, Europeans won't extract the hydrogen. They'll just write a 500-page regulation on how to think about it responsibly. How does that work? Why is that so? If those are questions you also like to ask, you should really have a look at Brilliant. I found it to be the perfect way to turn curiosity into understanding one small step at a time. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their newly updated maths courses. No matter how abstract the topic seems, Brilliant's courses have intuitive visualizations that really click into my brain. And Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle, and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.